All right, so you've got that interview scheduled. Now it's time to conduct the interview. When you are in the interview, you want to reintroduce yourself. Don't assume that they remember who you are. Again, draw from common language, remind them that you're a student, remind them why you're there. Deliver your opening, lend context, but don't pitch your product. Listen, let the interview flow, and remember that if there's a pause in the conversation, pauses are okay. Your customer is probably just thinking about a response, thinking about something to say. So give them a chance to think and don't try to fill every single second with noise. Finally, you want to close and wrap up, wrap up the interview with some questions. If you want to do a demo, do it at the very end or don't do it at all. It's not necessary. You want to say thank you and always end your interview asking for referrals. Ask them who else they know, who else you can interview, because I'm sure they've got people that they'd love to conduct that they'd love to connect you with. During the actual interview, refrain from persuading the customer. Don't try to get them to think that your product is the best solution. Again, don't sell. Ask your open-ended questions. Listen. Ask for more information and pause and leave time for new comments. There's a few deadly sins of interviewing. We like to call them. The first one is death by PowerPoint, which I hope no one is feeling at this point in our class. Then you've got death by demo. Don't do that either. Remember, if you're going to do a demo at all, save it for the very end of the interview. And don't be blinded by the passion you have for your product or your solution. Remember, just because you think your product or solution is the very best, that doesn't mean that it necessarily is. So don't be blinded by the passion that you have for what you're doing. Try not to be biased by any idea or solution. Be open. You're in that customer discovery interview to learn.